Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. We're here tonight in Beverly Hills at the Costume Designers Guild Awards, which honors the achievement in costume design in TV, film, and commercials. Now, I want you to close your eyes for a minute and picture Kerry Washington, clad in all white, striding into her office, rallying her gladiators. Or Amy Adams, clad in a dress that goes down to there, channeling the sexiness and strength of the 70s. Or Jared Leto, dressed in a beautiful dress, breaking our hearts. These are just a couple of the iconic images from this year's nominees, and we'll be talking to their designers to find out why they are indeed a cut above the rest. All right. Hi, I am here with Tom, who is the costume designer from House of Cards and Saturday Night Live, yes. correct? Yes, correct. correct. Double me on me. Yeah, so House of Cards is getting a lot of attention right now. How does that feel? Um, it feels great, actually. It's such a great show. And, you know, the people in it and everybody involved in it is so amazing that, you know, it's so great to see something from the start keep blossoming. Yeah. And the look of the show is so interesting. It's such a dark show. Tell me yeah. about designing, especially for the female characters on the show. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the, the whole thing with Robin in the first season was we really wanted to make her not look like she fit into Washington and had this sort of weird kind of um, Lady Macbeth, modern day Shakespearean kind of woman and someone who hadn't really been on scene on TV before. Well, she's definitely a unique icon. Yeah, no, she is. And, you know, I, I, I like to say, you know, the thing about, I think, one of the things that made such a strong impact is Robin's hair. And so you can't take, you know, the clothes were one thing, but the hair, like, made, was just sort of like the icing on, you know, and then you have an amazing actress who knows how to act so beautifully. <laughs> So then, on the flip side, you also work with Saturday Night Live. I do. I do. Yeah, I try to think that um, it's like sort of my two brains. One is sort of the comedy brain and one's the drama brain. But but I like to think that I approach comedy by way of drama, so it's kind of toes the line. And a lot of people, you know, when they think achievement in costume design, they think, you know, a big fantasy piece or a historical piece. But how do costuming and comedy go together? Um, it's... It's surprising because it's it's that weird sort of thing of in comedy, you have such a fast impact to make, especially on Saturday Night Live. You know, like on House of Cards, you can go over 13 hours and create a character, whereas on Saturday Night Live, you have five minutes to create it, so the visual impact has to be a little faster. So. Well, have a wonderful time tonight. Thank you for talking with us. Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. Thanks so much for watching our coverage of the Costume Designers Guild Awards. If you like what you saw, click like. And if you want to see more, make sure to hit subscribe. We'll see you next time.